So it's week 36, English Premier League. And the Friday night fixture. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that yesterday on the prediction show. Uh, there was a match uh, last night and it was at Anfield. Liverpool at home to Huddersfield. This is because of Champions League semi-final fixtures next week. So, bottom of the table, Huddersfield. So, the question was how many? Well, it took 20 seconds uh, for Nadi Keita to poke the ball into the corner of Losel's net after a dreadful pass from a Huddersfield defender right to a Liverpool player 30 uh, yards out. Then Amani Hadda from a delightful Robertson cross and a Salah strike from an inch perfect chip over the defence from Alexander Arnold made it 3 0 at the break. Further goals in the second half from Mane following a neatly curled cross from Edinson and another for Salah poaching inside the six yard box and the route was complete. Liverpool majestic thrashing Huddersfield by five goals to nil. So, so to Saturday's action at the new White Hart Lane Stadium. Spurs at home to West Ham. Team news, uh, Poggettino selected a back three for Spurs, but Vertonghen and uh, Trupia were, were rested. Uh, Dyer was back for his first full game after a, a, a six weeks out. The Hammers were on Nardovic up front again. Uh, Spurs uh, naturally one eye on Tuesday's match in the Champions League. Uh, but Morris st still up front with Son, who apparently is not going to be available on Tuesday. And of course Kane is still out. So early action. Rice had a shot just over uh, after a good run by the uh, ever, ever uh, dangerous Anderson. Ten minutes then, Son was put through, but his shot was uh, 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 dealt with by Fabianski. And he had another one effort on 33 minutes, um, but uh, it was deflected for a corner. That was 23 minutes. A minute later, Mora hinges wide from just inside the box. And on 35, Ericsson uh, had a shot uh, that was again blocked by Fabianski. Uh, West Ham was not overrun, but certainly Spurs had the best of the first half. But on 44 minutes, uh, a chance for Anderson, um, just inside the box, and uh, Lloris had to be alert. So, we got to the half, goalers, into the second half then, 48 minutes, and Natovic set that, uh, free down the right. And he laid it back to the advancing Fredericks, and his shot was blocked, and then it went wide. This was a warning to Spurs. 57 minutes, though, Son looked like he was denied an obvious penalty for obstruction in the box, but it was waved away. And then on 58 minutes, uh, Anatovic put through on the right uh, wing. And he, a glorious, uh, delectable chip pass uh, found uh, Antonio running into the box. He collected the ball from Anatovic and he smashed the ball into the roof of the net uh, as Lloris advanced to cut down the angle. It was a fantastic strike and West Ham won up. After that... Um, uh, West Ham looked good on their lead. Fredericks ha had a shot blocked by Davis in the box and another counter-attack and uh, uh, Antonio uh, was too quick for Davis and he forced Lloris to block with legs for a corner. As the minutes were ticking away, uh, Pochettino first put on Lorente and then Janssen desperate to try and get something from this uh, game but it was to no avail uh, and on 94 minutes Jansen had the best chance of the half uh, his header was goalwards and then uh, it was cleared off the line by ba ba Bamiana, Fab Bamiana so basically the Hammers uh, a good performance got to the whistle Won this game by a goal to nil. 
So, uh, bottom of the table clash at Fra- Fra- Craven Cottage, uh, Fulham at home to Cardiff. Cardiff basically needing a win to stay alive. Uh, Kearney was back for Fulham. Uh, Warnock, the Cardiff manager, no win in 10 attempts at Craven Cottage. So, uh, certainly not having a lot of confidence in this. Etheridge started uh, well, a good save from him from a Mitrovic shot early on. Uh, that was about the highlight of a dull, dismal first half. Into the second half, uh, Mitrovic blasted high and wide, and then a uh, touch of class in, on 79 minutes. Uh, the ball was laid uh, to, the, uh, to the foot of Barbel, and he hit a screamer from just outside the box that curled into the uh, Etheridge's right-hand corner, and that was 1-0 to Fulham. Uh, Cardiff pressed for an equaliser. Hoylett hit the underside of a bar late on, and uh, Rico uh, managed to save uh, from a Bennett's header, and also from Ward on 91 minutes. Uh, his effort was cleared off the line. And finally, the last chance for Cardiff Morrison's uh, tame header was easy for Rico so uh, Warnock's bad run continues another defeat at Craven Cottage Fulham got this one by a single goal final score Fulham won, Cardiff nil so the South Coast derby at St Mary's Southampton at home to Bournemouth Bournemouth had never won at Southampton, an interesting stat. Long was retained up front in, in place of Ings. Um, early chances for Saints. Redmond uh, had a shot blocked by Boric. And then on 12 minutes, Long uh, put Southampton ahead. A neat finish inside the penalty box. And slotting the ball home into the corner of the net. 20 minutes though, Bournemouth... On a great counter-attack, carved out in the Saints' defence, and uh, Gosling was on hand to uh, put the ball uh, in the net. So that was 1-1. 24 minutes, long hit a post, but then 32, uh, this uh, exciting game uh, got even better. Wilson uh, poaching after Gunn had uh, parried a Brook shot, and uh, Bournemouth were back in front 2-1. That was the score at the break. Into the second half, minute 55, uh, Ward Prowse on hand, a, a great uh, strike along the floor, found the corner, and we were level again at two each. And on 67 minutes, uh, Target uh, arrived at the far post to head past Boric, uh, from a peach of a cross by Valerie and Saints were back in front 3-2 to minute 86 then and Wilson's uh, second uh, 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 conversion from a Brooks cross in the sec- six yard box and it was 3 all. Uh, we had some more drama on 88 with Gunn blocking Wilson's hat-trick attempt and we reached the final whistle uh, with the score uh, Saints 3, Bournemouth 3. A thoroughly entertaining match. To the Amex then, Brighton at home to Newcastle. Brighton no goal in the last six games. Desperately needing one this afternoon. Shelfie was back for Newcastle. And Newcastle uh, got out of the, the blocks quicker. And on 18 minutes... Uh, a cushion header from Rondon uh, right at the feet of Paris and he is in hot form at the moment and he smashed it into the roof of the net that was 1-0 to the Magpies uh, Bruno brought down uh, Rondon a little later but the referee way play on it looked a blatant penalty to me anyway we got to the break and it was 1-0 to uh, Newcastle into the second half now, and Brighton much more adventurous. Mind you, they couldn't have been worse than they were in the first half. And 75 minutes, uh, Murray managed to uh, head across from Bruno to the uh, advancing Gross, and his header uh, leveled the scores at 1-1. From there on, Murray uh, Brighton looked far better and looked like the team likely to win it. 
and it was that man Murray who missed a sitter a couple of minutes from time. So we got to the final uh, whistle, and uh, Brighton had uh, got a point, uh, which could prove priceless. Final score, Brighton won, Newcastle so a repeat of the semi-final in the FA Cup a few weeks back, which was a classic. Watford at home to Wolves. Both sides desperately seeking that seventh place uh, in the final standings. And of course, this affects the amount of prize money that you receive. Uh, so uh, a lot to play for. Uh, Wolves had the early running. A great jotter run uh, following a down dog across. And Kapu uh, managed to uh, claw Amanus's effort off the line. Um, that was about the best of it uh, in the early half hour. Although Watford did have a half chance which Hughes headed over. But then on 41 minutes, uh, Raul Jimenez finally got the first goal. Finishing off uh, a peach of a cross by his best mate Jota. So Wolves in front of the break 1-0. A few minutes into the second half and uh, Watford got at their equaliser. A dreadful back pass from the Wolves defence letting De La Feo. Uh, Patricio managed to block his effort but uh, the ball fell kindly to uh, King and he slotted it home. That was 1-1. After that Wolves certainly had the best of it and on 77 minutes an absolutely superb cross field pass from Neves, uh, the wind got a hold of it, hold of it, and it certainly caught Foster out. Jota was at the far post, and he anticipated it brilliantly, and he slotted it past Foster, and Wolves were ahead 2-1. That's how it finished. Uh, Nino Espanto Santo absolutely delighted. Wolves uh, taking this game by two goals to one. Last game on Saturday then, uh, Crystal Palace at home to Everton, both coming off two uh, great wins, uh, Everton in fact have won four out of the last five, Van Arnold was back at left back for uh, Palace. Uh, Palace on the front foot in the first half but very little to report, it was a pretty dull affair, half time as uh, goalless. Um, and then to the second half, and it really uh, didn't get a lot better, although Everton certainly had the best of it. Richarlison uh, managed to uh, uh, get hold of a shot um, that uh, uh, blocked by Van Aalholt, and uh, the, the, the Brazilian was also shouting for a penalty, uh, for an innocuous challenge uh, but the referee waved it around, away Tozen probably had the best effort uh, but Gert, 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 <laughs> I can't pronounce that the Palace goalkeeper anyway denied him Adena Cross uh, hit the upright but we got to the final whistle and most of the crowd were probably relieved uh, final score Crystal Palace nil, Everton nil. First of Sunday's uh, uh, matches then was at the King Power Stadium, Leicester at home to Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal, two defeats in a row, desperate for something from this game. Uh, Leicester, well they're improving uh, game by game under Rodgers uh, and this was a, a feisty affair. Leicester certainly had the better uh, of the early running and uh, Arsenal were resorting to their usual sort of counter-attack uh, and being rather obstructive and uh, a few fouls uh, conceded um, two yellows early on, one for each side uh, and um, a nice run by uh, a Madison shot just wide on 18 minutes uh, but on 22 a chance for Lacazette who connected sweetly but it just went wide and he should have worked to Michael the players were uh, certainly uh, full of energy 
On 28 minutes, Madison worked Leno uh, after another neat Leicester move. Uh, and uh, Leno again, same from Ndidi, uh, a header from a corner. And uh, Vardy's pace was becoming an ever-increasing problem for the Gunners. Uh, and Socrates was the man suffering. Uh, and he... Uh, was slow out of the blocks as he as Vardy ran on to a chip pass, but the effort went over. Uh, so we got to the break basically goalless, uh, but yet there was an incident uh, um, on 36 minutes. Uh, Nathan Miles uh, got a second yellow card uh, for a, a poor challenge, and he was off. Uh, so. Arsenal down to 10 into the second half then and uh, as I say the first half really uh, Leicester were far much the better side um, tactically uh, creative uh, on the uh, front foot um, lots of energy up front um, the Gunners the exact opposite lacklustre lacking creativity and really hoping for an error from the Foxes. Anyway, minute 58, a nice builder on the right, and Madison again, his cross found Tielemans, who headed the ball wide of Leno, and it was 1-0 to the Foxes. This forced Arsenal to be a little bit more adventurous, uh, and uh, they certainly uh, did improve. But Leicester was still the class act, uh, a 30-yard effort from Tielemans went wide on 72 minutes. And uh, in, on minute 73, Leno had to save on three occasions uh, consecutively from Pereira and, and Barnes and Vardy. Uh, 84 minutes, uh, the Arsenal sub was on. He had a half chance. Uh, but uh, uh, Maguire just got a leg to it to block it and then 85 minutes an absolutely amazing goal uh, Smichael launched a huge ball upfield Vardy outstripped the defence and as Leno came out he managed to clip it over the goalie and it hit the bar and Vardy as we know followed up quickly to head it home and that was 2-0 Foxes game over but Vardy, he never gives up. And on 94 minutes, he converted uh, uh, a, a tap-in after some good work from Pereira. The Foxes ran out 3-0 winners. And Arsenal looking uh, rather uh, pathetic at the end. And uh, em Emery, certainly not a happy man. So to Turp Ball then, Burnley at home to Manchester City. Burnley unchanged, Sonny in for Fernandinho. Uh, two previous matches between these sides this uh, season have both ended in emphatic 5-0 wins for City. Um, but they were both at the Etihad. Uh, it was never going to be like that here at Turf Moor. First 15 minutes, no clear-cut chances really for either team. Uh, understandably, City having the possession, but Burnley handling uh, them defensively. 21 minutes, they also carved out a chance for Wood. Uh, Wood and Barnes would be a problem throughout the match, but Edison was equal to it. Off his line... Uh, to gather it uh, and uh, uh, 27 minutes uh, a quick break by City good work by Aguero and Bernardo Silva, Silva's effort was tamely gathered in by Heaton uh, got to minute 40 and Aguero's shot from 30 yards just went wide so at the break it was goalless into the second half, and it was early City pressure. pressure. In fact, it was constant uh, uh, City pressure. And uh, frantic defending from Burnley and poor finishing from City were basically uh, keeping uh, the, 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 the champions at bay. However, there was a strong penalty shout uh, for handball by Barnes. And uh, on replay, it certainly looked like it was a pen. Uh, but anyway, Burnley survived. And then on 62 minutes, 
that Argentinian magician, Aguero, made the breakthrough. His shot was sort of half saved by Heaton, but the ball managed to cross the line before it was hooked away by a, a Burnley defender. The goal line technology so clearly that it crossed the line and Man City were absolutely delighted. They were ahead by a goal to nil. Now from there on really, uh, Burnley had few opportunities to level. Um, City, certainly they brought on Jesus uh, who looked dangerous and uh, me had to be at his best to thwart him. Uh, he cleared off the line from Jesus and uh, Walker uh, was finding a lot of space on the right with his crosses. The match petered out. S uh, City delighted to hang on to their 1-0 win and that was the final score. Burnley 0, uh, Manchester City 1. So the final uh, match in this round was at Old Trafford. Manchester United at home to Chelsea. Team news, Herrera was back in midfield for the Reds. Bailly in the back four. And Mata up front with Lukaku and Rashford. Uh, Chelsea here going up front. Uh, Barclay on the bench. Kovacic, Jorginho and Kante in midfield for the Blues. Early chance then. Uh, Lukaku... Uh, 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 had a half chance following good work by Shaw but the ball was uh, blocked away for a corner but then uh, United certainly looking in charge on 10 minutes a great move great work by Lukaku uh, uh, following uh, Shaw getting into the box and a, a lovely pullback by Shaw to Matter who was on the penalty box and he stroked the ball in the net and United were a goal up Lukaku was looking really dangerous. Uh, his best ma game for a long, long time, uh, full of fire and causing Luis uh, havoc at the back there. But Chelsea, as we know, they started to push forward uh, and uh, they controlled the possession. Uh, United were holding a, a def deep defensive rely and rely on the break. Anyway, on 27 minutes, one of those breaks, Lukaku got the ball to Rashford, but it was blocked and put away for a corner. Uh, but 42 minutes, uh, United looked comfortable at 1-0, and then from outside the box, Rudiger decided to have a, a pot shot, uh, and De Gea, uh, who's been right out of form, spilled the beans and the ball ricocheted to the advancing Alonso who put it in the corner and at half time it was 1-1 United were certainly uh, devastated and the second half to be perfectly on honest uh, was uh, lacking in excitement United uh, uh, had uh, injury problem from Bay and uh, uh, Chelsea also had an injury problem with Rudiger. Um, there were very few clear-cut chances for either side in the second half, uh, although it certainly has to be said that Chelsea had the better of it. But we got to the final whistle with uh, the final score, Manchester United 1, Chelsea 1. So that's work 36 done and dusted. Uh, at the top, it's the same. Both teams winning. So Man City back on top. Uh, Cardiff are all but relegated now after that loss at Fulham. Uh, Brighton, I think, need one point and they've got a superior goal difference. Um, as to top four, well, uh, Spurs lost, Arsenal lost. And the other two drew. So uh, still all to play for really. For uh, position three and four. Although I think Spurs uh, have definitely got the edge uh, in that race. Uh, as to uh, the goal of the week. Um, well I'm going to give it to uh, Jamie Vardy. Um, that amazing clearance and assist by Schmeichel. 
uh, leading to uh, Vardy heading in uh, for the second against Arsenal. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And we'll see you uh, back with the prediction show at the end of the week.